In this video I'll be explaining turbo lag. Now turbo lag is a problem with turbocharged engines that when you press on the gas you don't have a near instant throttle response and it takes a little bit for the engine to build boost and give you that extra power that the turbocharger is trying to give you. So how this works, well we've got our setup here where we've got our engine, we've got the turbocharger, and here's your incoming air. So as the exhaust gases go through the exhaust turbine they also spool up the intake turbine and this pulls in air, sends it through the intercooler, you've got your throttle body right here and puts it in the engine. You've got added pressure so you create more uh, power. With more air in there you can add more fuel and with more fuel you're going to burn, you're going to create more power. So what is turbo lag? So let's just start and say that our throttle is closed right here. So when the throttle's closed you're not going to have much air coming into the engine. And without much air coming into the engine, you're not going to have much exhaust. Well, these exhaust gases go to the exhaust turbine, and they're trying to spin that. So if this exhaust turbine, also with the intake turbine here, both of these together are connected. So this exhaust gas is trying to spin both of these turbines. Well, these turbines have some mass, and the exhaust gases have to overcome that mass, uh, that inertia, and so that you can draw in extra air. So your throttle's closed and your exhaust isn't really spooling yet, so you're not going to have uh, additional boost. Alright, next you press on the gas so your throttle body opens up and you allow more air to go in. Well, once you allow more air to go in, then you're going to have more exhaust because you're going to burn more fuel. Now, as you have more exhaust, you're going to have a greater pressure coming into this exhaust turbine and it's going to be able to spool up this turbine. So once these turbines are spinning, this, is, this intake turbine is going to draw in more air, and then it's going to send that air to your engine, so you'll have boost. Now, from start to finish, that process takes time, and this amount of time is called turbo lag. So the disadvantages of turbo lag, and it's, it's pretty much something that all engines with turbochargers will have, but you can minimize it, and, and some engines will be a lot better responding than others. Um, but the disadvantages is that you'll have an instant hop in power. So you floor it and you think, okay, like my tires have grip, this is fine. But then all of a sudden the turbo kicks in, you've got boost, and you have a great leap in power, so your tires might spin out from under you. Uh, the, another big disadvantage, obviously, is the poor throttle response. You press on the gas and you don't have that great increase in power like you were expecting. You have to wait uh, a moment. So one of the ways that this can be prevented is if you use a lightweight, um, low mass turbines in here so that just a small amount of gas can spool them up. And that is turbo lag and how it works.